And sadly, again, this game is in full screen. I can't window mode it, so it's really odd for me to play it. Hey, ghost. Neener, neener, neener. She, she can see ghost guys. She's a ghost too. I'm not a ghost. Ghost, ghost. I'm not a ghost. Okay, I'm up next. My story is about a ghost. Ooh, a ghost story, what kind? Well, you know how there's a cliff behind the inn? You see, three years ago, on that spot... Stop. Don't talk about that. Sayuri, what's wrong? There are no such things as ghosts. But the staff saw it. It's supposedly some of the guests did too. There's no way they could. Sayuri... There's no way they couldn't see them because there are no such things as ghosts. Jeez, why are you freaking out? You're in junior high. You scared or something? Why didn't you just say that? You don't have to say there isn't one or you can't see. I... I... I'm going for a walk. Hey, Sayuri! Sayuri! Hey, morning. Did you catch the movie playing last night at midnight? Huh? Which one? Okay, so the main character was super hot and... Ah! Hey, someone fell. Oh, when the person died. What? Why? No. I don't. No. <sighs> Why? Why is it happening now? Why? Cold as ice. Morning! Oh hey, good morning. Oh man, I'm still tired. Hey, I saw something interesting on TV yesterday. Yo, Gamash! Yo. Morning. Did you sleep okay last night? I think so. Good to hear. A lot happened to you yesterday. I was worried. You'd have trouble sleeping. Chief can be pretty pushy at times, but she has a good eye for spotting potential. I'm sure you'll be fine at, at Gatekeepers. We'll head to the editorial department after school. Come talk to me if there's anything you need. Good morning. Konnichiwa. Been here just two days and you're already buddy buddy with this guy. Don't be silly. We're in the same class. Wouldn't you say it's a good thing that we're friends? Classmates, huh? That's it? What do you mean? Yesterday. What happened after I left? What, so it's a secret between you two and that woman? Gamash. Ugh, nothing happened. Nothing you think happened, it happened. Sega. My food? Sometimes it's better not to know. If you're afraid, it's for the best that you don't get involved with us. Once you know, you can't go back. Anyway, first periods, math. If you don't understand something, Gamash, come find me and I'll help you out. I'm pretty good at subjects like this. Hey, Mafoon. Foon. Huh? Oh, uh, what is this, Sega? Class is starting. Oh, yes, I know. I'll see you two later. The teacher's here. Later. See you tomorrow. Aw oh, man, I don't want to go to practice. Hey. Konnichiwa. Do you want to go to the fourth floor? I have to go back just one more time. You will come with me, right? I'll go. Then let's go. 
It's better not to leave her alone anyway, just in case something comes back again. Hey, what happened to that girl? The one in the summer dress? A girl who wouldn't fit in at, a school, at this school? She was pointing to this room. She said, defeat the ghost with the red coat. Did you, were you able to defeat him? We did. I see, I'm glad. I hope that helped set her free. Since she's not here, that must mean you and Sega must have granted her wish, along with that old lady, right? Look, I told you there are no three rooms on this floor, but there also used to be a ladder that took you to the roof. After the incident, it was removed. Now the door to the roof is blocked off and there's no other way to get up there. Everything was sealed that day, the sad memories and even the truth. I thought yesterday if I came here I might figure something out, that I'd be able to find what was lost. At the same time, I also felt that I should stay away from this place. No, I wasn't able to bring myself to come here, until you came along. But, having stepped foot here, I now understand I was only deluding myself. Even though I came here, I still don't know the truth, not even a little bit. Maybe you can find out, Noah. You were able to grant her wish, weren't you? Thanks for coming with me. I didn't want to do this alone, so you did me a favor. Let's get out of here. Hmm. They'll catch us if you don't hurry up. Defeat him. Gamash! Let's head to the office. Chief is waiting for you. Alright, I need to tell you something before we leave. Listen up. I hear students chattering. Oh, when I say I have something to tell you, I don't mean it's anything serious. The fact that we're exercising ghosts isn't exactly public. In fact, we're kind of underground. That means the client and their request is kept confidential. You must resolve things swiftly. If it takes too long, there's no telling what kind of problems will arise. So be careful, that's all I had to say. Well, let's get going. Here we are. The second floor of this building is our, where our editorial department call, calls home. Our company car is in the parking lot next door. Most times it's used to deliver our products. But whenever we get a request, it transports us and our equipment to the location. Hmm? It felt like someone was watching, but I must have been imagining things. Ghosts are every everywhere. Their world overlaps with the reality we humans live in. They exist in what's often called the afterlife. Think of it as two mirrors facing each other. Ordinary, the two are completely separate. Sometimes causes them to link. That's where we come in. Lost souls, suicide victims, poltergeists. Ghosts who connect with our world are categorized according to their characteristics. We're not just giving them random names. They each have a meaning behind them. By learning the characteristic of a ghost, for example, Oh, bro. What a racket. Huh. I was wondering who was talking outside. It's just you, Sega? Oh, hello, Mr. Sadoe. How are you doing? Hey, seriously as... Huh, serious as usual. I see. You've come to work. Ten minutes early. Well, Chief said we're getting our proofs for... Our proofs from the printers today. Gah, you're way too stiff. Find a half at your work, you know. I also wanted to show this guy around the office. Hmm? Oh yeah, who's that next to you? He's got your school uniform on. You know him? Yes, this is Noah Gamash. He transferred into my class yesterday. Gamash. Oh, so you're the one Tsuru was telling me we were getting a newbie. My name is Sadai. Sadoi. 
I'm the driver for Gatekeepers. Nice to meet you. Sorry, but I don't handshake with guys, especially sweaty high school kids. When an exorcism request comes in, I'll take you wherever you want. You gotta go. Be ready to leave. Work hard and make enough for me to... <laughs> later. Mr. Sadoi, where are you going? Gambling. Where else? Mr. Sadoi has been with Gatekeeper since its inception. Word is he worked with the Chief before. I don't really know the details, but he's the only one who knows anything about the Chief's past. Anyway, let me show you around. Hey Chief, I brought the mash. Hold it, you don't have to say anything. What, Moichi? Moichi? What the fuck? I'm going to use this machine to scan your mind right now. You're a high school student, right? Yes. Yes. Alright, next question. You have come to purchase a magazine, correct? No. Why are you lying? What other reason would you would cause a student to come directly to the office of Gatekeepers Inc? Okay, okay, that's enough. You're scary, Noah. I'm glad you made it, Noah. Welcome to Gatekeepers. Chief, hold up. Give me a little more time and you'll see the true value of this man. You never give up. Ah! No, my creation! Oopsies, I'm sorry. You're probably pretty confused right now. Seems one of our part-timers got too excited trying to entertain and forgot to welcome you. <laughs> Hey, my creations are never entertainment, nor toys. They are the culmination of my research into fringe science. Oh, I apologize for not introducing myself sooner. I'm Mochi Singa. Singa. I'm a third year at Tsukukakudoi Tech in Choyoda. My focus is ghosts and paranormal phenomenons. I probably botched that. <laughs> and if I actually managed to say that correctly, then I deserve a pat on the back for that. But anyway, so you're the new guy I was told about. It's a pleasure to meet you. I just came back from an idol meet in Greek. Do you mind just shaking left hands? This guy's name is Noah Gamash. Ah, then would it be alright if I call you Elj? What the fuck does that mean? LG Noah? What? What? <laughs> oh! Oh, hey, Seclor. Seclor? You're here to check out, the, check out the stranger? Oh, I'm so cute, a kitty. I love cats. Oh, I, actually, I just love anything that's cute. I have a weakness for cuteness. Claire here has been hanging around the office ever since Gatekeeper was established. Now he's basically the mascot of our office. Like Utaro, Utaro the mythical raven in our emblem. My, what a cute cat! So this is what an editorial department looks like. I thought it would be cleaner. Mafoon, how did you find this place? Also, <laughs> should she just follow us here? <laughs> ever, ever hear of a little thing called following? Luckily, you were so caught up in your conversation, you didn't even notice. When did you... Ah, I get it now. You were what I sensed was watching outside. Well, if I had to ask you if I could come with you, you wouldn't have let me, right? Of course not. It's none of your business. What do you mean? I was there yesterday. I hid by the shoe lock. I mean, I calmly watched the two of you leave school and simply followed you here. I never thought you would do something like that. 
What's the big deal, Sega? You should be welcoming her. From what I can tell, she looks to be naturally inclined towards possessions. Though her ability to suppress it is impressive. She's got potential. This buffoon, was it? You want to work here? I, I, fine. I suppose I can take you on, on temporarily. I'll decide if you'll stay officially after I see how you work today. But thank you. If you have any questions, Sega will be able to help you. Understood. And where should we start? Let's see, why don't you start off by proofreading this page? What, have you never heard the term before? Proofreading is looking at the text in proofs, in proofs that are close to final and checking for mistakes. Be sure to not only search for errors, but verify the text fits and that the layouts are fine. Hey, wait a second. I didn't come all the way here to do this kind of... You seem to have misunderstood something. What do you think Gatekeepers Inc. is? Uh... We are a publisher specializing in the occult. We publish material on subjects ranging from ESP to UFOs, as well as exercising evil spirits. In other words, our main business is publishing, we're not just exorcists. You said you wanted to work here, that means you will have to do publishing work as well. Well, I... Same goes for you, Noah. I need you to prove... Prove you're a benefit to the company. Do I make myself clear? You will get a hug only after you've shown your results. What about you, Mafoon? Of course, I'll proofread whatever you want. I'm at your service. I've been told my grammar skills are pretty good. Good. Then let's start you off with proofreading. Sega and Noah, could you two make a shopping trip? When we fought the ghost in the burning red coat, we used a bunch of salt, so we're low on stock. We'll also need to stock up on general equipment, so we're prepared for ne the next request. Of course. Thanks. This game is so fucking weird. Company car configuration? Uh, welcome to Or Not 4B. Hey, look who it is. Thanks for your constant patronage. Who the fuck is this guy? Also, does he have like a fan next to him where he's standing? Just so he can have that effect? Is that guy with you? He just started working with us today. Ah, I see. Fantastic news. New blood. Ah, I remember well the day I began working here. My eyes are tearing up from the memory. I'm Manaji Nishida. Nishida. I'm the manager. The pleasure is mine. I don't know what the fuck these actions do. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh wow, your grip is good and strong. And feel free to just call me Manager Nishida. Saying Manager Mana makes your tongue curl weird. We're proud to admit that Or Not 4B is not like any other convenience store. We sell antiques and a variety of odd things, so be sure to look over everything. Find, find me if you need something. He's pretty friendly, don't you think? The company uses this store to buy most of our supplies. When we fight ghosts, we always study a sketch of the location during our briefings to strategize. We are able to simulate how a battle will go by analyzing as much of the area as we can. We look at entrances, room layouts, and where things like gas pipes and electrical outlets are. Depending on the situation, you can potentially lay traps the ghost won't like. 
Remember that white powder on the floor of the school where the ghost in the red coat appeared? That white powder was actually salt. Ghosts don't like it because it keeps them from passing over it. And you and I are able to sense ghosts, but unfortunately, that alone isn't enough to win. Therefore, be prepared essentially beforehand and make sure we outsmart them. Mm, ah, my phone was ringing. Hang on. Hello, this is Sega. Understood. I'll head over with Gamash. Bye. We're going to have to do our shopping later. I guess a new request was posted on our exorcism website's forum. Supposedly there's a ghost of a woman in a white kimono in an apartment located in Nakano. Mochi's already heading to the site. Let's meet up with him and get all the details. Head to Nakano. Chief just gave me the address, let's hurry. Well, we're here. You're late. Konnichiwa. Mafoon? There was a ghost, right? I'm only temporarily at Gatekeepers, but I do work there. I have the right to do the, the do be a part of this. That fine with you? Mafoon's black hair looks like it's flowing. Hey, um, why are you staring at me? You're making me feel self-conscious. So, what kind of ghost is it? A young woman wearing a white kimono. A ghost in a white kimono in this day and age? They are still standard burial outfits. Ghosts don't always appear as they did in death. Really, but that's... If a ghost already exists at a location, it's possible for the new one to fuse with it. They absorb the whole ghost and inherit its form. But what's more likely is that the ideals we hold in the real world affect their appearance. For example, fairies are portrayed as having wings and ghosts wear white kimonos. So ghosts are catering to our image of them. It's not so much catering as more like we're seeing what we want to see. So how we picture them in our head is affecting the way they appear. Exactly. Maybe it interferes with a conversation process for seeing the afterlife from our the version process for seeing the afterlife from our reality. Then if I imagine a hamster or something, if you manage to overcome the sum of the countless other ideals of the ghost beforehand, before you, then perhaps. All right, let's see what I can do. Don't waste your time. Chief mentioned Mochi was coming. Where is he? Right here. Uh, this is the perfect time to show you an LG Noah. Oh god, he's making that the official name, isn't he? What the fuck does that even mean, anyway? L the LG part. The results of my research. <laughs> I don't want to see any freak sign stuff. What? And <laughs> C and Moon? You're not interested in the sciences? But you want to see, right, LG? <laughs> Not really. What? Oh, come on, LG Noah. I didn't know you were so funny. Let's have a conversation about the future of science in my lab sometime. It's in the basement. Well, I guess more people here means more of us to look for traces of the ghost. So, what's the situation? Oh, yes, let's see. The request comes from a 24 year your old government employee in Nakano, single, lives alone. The first ghost sighting was three days ago around two in the morning. The man had to work late that night and didn't make it into his bed until 1 a.m. About an hour later, he woke up cold and smelled something odd. A woman in a kimono was there. There was This woman stared at him in silence for a while for supposedly dissolving like fog. Ever since then, she's put in an appearance every day, at the same time, in the same location. I see, a temperature decrease and odd smell. Signs are there. Yes, even the signs would support that the client definitely observed a ghost. Uh, what exactly does he mean by that temperature and smell stuff? 
A ghost is always preceded by a temperature drop and a sulfur smell. They also tend to emit a positive charge so machines with the ability to measure it will react. Some electronic appliances constantly release positive charges. When a ghost is present, the charge quantity will fluctuate, thus notifying us of its arrival. Uh, I always thought it was hard to find them, but apparently not. Incorrect! Generally speaking, ghosts are still in the realm of unexplained mysteries. However, fringe science has con contributed and research on them has progressed globally. Humans and animals have some traits and behaviors that are universal. It's believed ghosts do too. Traits and behaviors, huh? So for example, we'll be like... We should stop the lesson about ghosts there for now. I'm sure both Gamash and Mifun will lear learn a lot more than they bargained for soon. Our client is waiting. Our job here is to determine why this ghost started to show up in front of our client. Ah yes, LG Sega is correct. Let's go then. I'll check out the area around the apartment. You three speak to the client. Roger. Are you the one who contacted us? Konnichiwa. Yeah, I'm Ryosaku Manabe. So you guys are... Exactly, we've come to investigate the details of your request. Um, are you really the... Yes, we are. Is there some kind of problem? Well, no, but you guys sure are young. You're students, right? I was wondering if this was... Huh, I may not look it, but I am a researcher. I have extensive knowledge in this area. Let me show you something really cool. Okay, this device here, it's an EMF detector. It can detect the existence of ghosts. If one comes close, or there are traces nearby, this needle shifts to the positive. See... See, you just turn on the switch. Huh? Oh ho ho! It's reacting! What? Wait, does that mean a ghost is here? No, it was reacting to this. What is that stuff? It's ghost residue. Residue? Just like humans leave behind footprints and fingerprints, ghosts leave traces as well. And one kind is this residue you see here. Hey, LG, Noah, Lafoon, you guys check this out too. My fingers are zapped by something like static electricity. So if there's ghost residue, does that mean that thing is a real ghost? It's undeniable proof. Do you have any kinds of ideas about who or what this ghost might be? Huh? Wait, does that mean you do know something? Uh, is there a reason why you can't tell us? Well, this isn't going to work if you won't talk then it will be difficult for us to do anything. That ghost is... No, it can't be. Never mind. It's because you're scared that a person you knew is now a ghost and attacking people. Am I right? Sega. If you give a name, then you would have to admit to yourself that it's true. You will have to accept someone you cared for and Morn wasn't able to rest in peace. What, what are you... Several incidents have occurred in the past few days, with women attacked by something unusual. The police seem to be treating it as a random attacker and are investigating it as such. But all the victims have testified that at the time they felt cold and smelled something strange. Hold on, isn't a drop in temperature and odd smell indicators of a ghost? Exactly. A ghost has appeared and is attacking people in the vicinity of an apartment with a ghost sighting. Mr. Manabe, I'm guessing you requested an exorcism from us knowing this. You want the person you know to stop hurting people. Please tell us, Mr. Manabe, who is the ghost. 
that will be able to stop her, someone who must be so important to you. She's my fiance. What? I'm positive the ghost is my deceased fiance. It was two weeks ago. She fell down some stairs. She must have landed wrong because... Um, I'm just... Okay, let's keep going until we get out of this so I can actually save. It was so sudden. I couldn't even process it. Her family put together a quick funeral. Of course I attended since we were to be wed and I watched as she was cremated. But then that very night she appeared right in front of me. Y Yuko, but you're supposed to be dead. I had to come back. I was worried about you, Ryosaku. Okay, since I can't pause, I'm going to just go to the next part of this.